Monday, a gun was brought into a third grade classroom at Newington Elementary in Somerville. Since we learned about this, parents have reached out to us concerned about safety in our local schools. So we sent News 2's Macy McLeod to get some answers from Dorchester District 2. Macy? Brendan, we know that this gun was not brought to school with malicious intent. According to the child's mother, she accidentally put it in the backpack when carrying a lot of items at once. And the district says the child responded in the right way by telling the teacher as soon as he found it. But parents are still worried that the gun made it onto campus in the first place. That is really scary to me. Like I said, we have guns. We've taught our children gun safety, but our guns are locked up at all times. Shannon Robb asked for her face not to be shown on camera, but she told me her family moved to Somerville specifically to send her daughter to Newington Elementary when she starts kindergarten next year. But in light of this incident, Robb is changing her mind. The potential for this to be monumental was absolutely there, and that's what is infuriating to my husband and I both, that we just, you know, we see the potential of where this could have gone. Parents are also worried because this isn't the first time this has happened at Newington. Another child brought an airsoft gun to school just one week before. It's clearly an, a reoccurring issue. It's not as frequent as it feels, but when you get them in little clusters like this, it does concern the, the, the parents. And I understand their concern as a parent myself. Um, no one wants this to occur. DD2 says the parents need to be the first line of defense. We need to partner with the parents and the guardians, really, so they do understand that whether it's a toy that looks like a regular or a real object, or it's an actual functioning weapon, um, they need to make sure that their student doesn't leave home with things that aren't allowed on campus. DD2 says if parents have concerns, they should call the principal or the district and ask questions. But Rob says nothing they can say will change her mind from homeschooling to keep her daughter safe. Their words aren't going to mean much to me. I need to see action. I need to see either metal detectors on the outsides of the schools, uh, maybe backpack searches and homeroom classes. There needs to be action. DD2 says you can also keep your children safe by teaching them to report suspicious activity. Like if they hear other mm -hmm. students talking about bringing a gun to school or happen to see one, make sure they tell a teacher immediately. Macy, we've seen plenty of reaction on social media from parents saying they weren't notified about this. Did you talk to the district about it? I did. And the district in Newington Elementary did send out a phone call, phone message to parents that afternoon notifying them about what happened. But what the district told me today is parents enter that contact information when they register their students for school. So if your information has changed, you've moved, maybe you entered your home number and you usually use your cell, um, that could be the reason why you didn't get that message. So if your child attends Newington Elementary, you did not receive that message, they recommend you go to your child's school and ask them what information they have on file and change it if it's not accurate. Keep that information current. Definitely. So you all get right. all of that information from the district. All right, Macy, thank you.